Welcome, in this video we're going to talk about Landscape Cutter, one of the newest tools from Lumion Pro 10. My name is Katarina, I'm a garden designer and I see you next. Welcome to another garden design tools video. We're going to talk about one of the newest tools from uh, Lumion Pro 10, um, Landscape Cutter or Cut, and you can find it on utilities um, icon here. Um, so I was a bit confused because the way it was explained in, in the beginning, it seemed like it was doing the same function as a section or a clip plane that they already have it in Lumion. Okay. So in Lumion, you have, um, this called the clip plane that you can uh, add to your, um, to your, um, to your uh, model to do some sections is a bit cumbersome and it doesn't cut through trees and stuff like this. So it only cuts through your. Uh, SketchUp model, but it can be really useful sometimes to do some sections from the side or something like this. I, I rarely use it anyway, uh, but you know, it can be useful. But, and I was a bit confused why would you use cut? Because the way it was shown, it was like in a swimming pool and it seemed like you would do the same thing as a clip plane that you can see underneath. It doesn't actually works like that. And I found that, um, a nicer utility so it cuts only lumion terrain it doesn't cut your model it doesn't cut uh, vegetation from the library um, so it only cuts lumion terrain so when did it can this can be useful in landscape architect so as you can see in this model the garden has different um, layers so what i normally do you could go through the when you when you add in your model in lumion it happens this. So you're adding directly into the terrain. So you could go and model it a little bit using the, the landscape tools here, height, and you can lower and you could go and lower the landscape and you know, all, but you know, it's a bit annoying to do and, um, it's a bit cumbersome and sometimes it doesn't work so well, you know, so I'll just prefer to elevate all my project all my models from SketchUp and then work on it. Okay. So as you can see, it's all everything elevated. Normally what I will do in SketchUp is I work the terrain, uh, using, um, uh, the terrain and location inside SketchUp to actually have some, uh, context, uh, around here, some real context. Okay. Real world context. And that's a video I'm going to do soon. That's being promised already. Um, but now with this tool cut, what you can do is, so you have here the same model, like it comes in SketchUp without vegetation and things, what you can do with cut. And I find this quite useful. So as you can see here, you have this rectangle shape. I'm going to rotate it just more or less. And just two. you can add only two by model. So instead of elevating now the whole model, what I have here is that I have it cuts into, into the Lumion terrain in that specific rectangle. So as you can see in here, I see the swimming pool like it's supposed to, because if I, if I didn't cut into the swimming pool, you have straight away the Lumion terrain here, the grass, as you can see. Okay. So I'm just going to put the grass on so you can see straight away. You see the Lumion terrain with the grass on is there. So this is, is actually pretty cool. So I was really, I was really, um, because I didn't understand the first time they explained, it seemed a bit like they're doing this function of the section. And, uh, I was, you know, I, I, I didn't understood. So as you can see here, you can see the different levels of the, the, the guard of this more specific model is cut into the Lumion terrain. So it works well. If you're just wanting after to add some trees in Lumion terrain, you're not going to have this like here. They have this big different level. You don't need to elevate. So that's a nice feature. I really, I'm really happy about it. And uh, it's definitely going to make your work uh, easier, your workflow as well. 
So that's the short video today. I just wanted to talk a little bit about this new tool from Lumion Pro 10. So as you here, utilities and cut. Don't forget only two by model, but if used for this specific, I'm not sure what are the functions you would use uh, as a garden designer, landscape architect. So one is enough. You can just do your whole model um, because you can only use two per uh, Lumion file, okay, per project. And I want to talk a bit about the Lumion demo competition. So we have a winner and her name is Sarah. She's from Slovenia and landscape architect. So I'm really happy. And thank you to everyone that sent images of their models, of their projects. Um, so wait up next week. You're going to see uh, what the model looks like. Her project is really cool. And uh, it has this is nice, uh, is, a, is a smaller size mo uh, project, but I really like it because it has outdoor kitchen and things like this, like I show off in Lumion. Okay, so I see you next week and thank everyone that, uh, that um, send their projects and their models and things like this to our competition. And um, see you next week in the next video. Okay, bye.